Micah channel. Those that have been here before, welcome back. Those that haven't been here, welcome to the page. Well, where are we today? Uh, Canterbury, that magnificent building behind me is Canterbury Cathedral. So we are doing uh, Canterbury down to Stobmarsh today on the Augustine's uh, Camino. Um, we just got to the cathedral. Uh, we got the train down this morning into Canterbury and walked down for it to the to the cathedral. Uh, what a magnificent building it is. But it's under restoration at the moment. I'll spin around and show you in a minute, but uh, yeah. So we're gonna have a, a separate Canterbury day at some point. We'll give you a much more of the history. But just in essence, the, the cathedral, was uh, was put here in something like uh, 570. Uh, it was actually rebuilt, and consecrated in uh, in the 11th century. Uh, probably one of the most famous uh, cathedrals in the country, other than York and them kind of places. But yeah, fantastic. And it was uh, where the resting place of Thomas the Becket was. Uh, it's a central point for any of the pilgrimages that come down through this way. Um, and it's, yeah, just magnificent. So as you come down, there's actually the uh, the pilgrim stone. Yeah. The cathedral. There's lots of restoration work going on at the moment. So you can see that the uh, tower's being restored. And there's one side of the cathedral. So we're going to have a quick walk around the outside of it and I'll show you um, what she looks like. The first little we got on trail today, Miss Noakes. So we've got Miss Noakes on the trail today. How you doing? You alright? Good morning. Yep. Good, thank you. Yeah, looking forward to the day? Yeah. yeah nice. What do you think of the cathedral? Beautiful. I want to yeah. go and have a proper look inside, but fortunately it's not open yet. But no, beautiful down here. I like Canterbury anyway. So, on so, yeah. a trail today? Yes, excited. Hopefully the sun will keep out for us and um, yeah, see what the next stretch brings. So those of you who follow the series, um, you'll see that we've not been out for probably about a month. Uh, work and one thing and another gets in the way, but uh, we're back on trail now. Uh, we've got some good stuff lined up and coming up in the next few weeks. So keep uh, keep posted and stay tuned. So the original name of the uh, cathedral was actually uh, the St Augustine uh, Abbey, or the St Augustine Church. Um, I said that was from about 570. Uh, just gonna have a quick wander around, get on the trail. Like I say, we're gonna come back to Canterbury and we'll do a full spread on Canterbury. So much history down here. Um, Dickens, is the cathedral, the city wall, the abbey. Um, so we're gonna do the full Monty at some point. Not the full Monty, but we'll, we'll come down and do a uh, Canterbury day. Maybe call it Canterbury Town. It's what a great title for a, a video. Don't think anyone's used that before. So as you leave the cathedral, you head up towards St Augustine's Abbey. Uh, you go past two statues. So there you've got uh, Queen Bertha, who's the uh, Queen of Kent and the Princess of the Franks. And she came over in about AD 597. And then Ethbert, oh, sorry, Ethelbert, King of Kent. Uh, and uh, he came over in 597 as well. So yeah, all good. We head up to the old abbey, which was uh, a former part of the uh, abbey itself. So, this building in front of us is now uh, King's School, but it's originally part of the abbey. Uh, we'll go through there in a minute, we'll find a stone in there, which is the uh, central marking of the uh, original resting place of Augustine. Uh, and it's in the nave of the ruins, which we're just going up to have a look at now. So, we're going to have a look. Like most other things on this uh, on this trek, you, uh, you get to somewhere and you find out that nothing opens until uh, mid morning. But when you do get there, um, everything's a tenor to get in. Uh, however, if you're a member of the English Heritage Trust, you can uh, you can get in for free. But hey ho. Um, so we gave the Abbey up as a bad job, and what we'll do is uh, when we do our Canterbury Day, uh, I'll take you there. So anyway, once you've uh, found the Abbey, you go past the Abbey. Straight up the road, past the uh, university buildings, then past the old uh, prison, and then just keep going. So keeping the church to your right hand side, just walk straight past it, and then you come to uh, St Martin's Avenue. So from here, you go um, up St Martin's Avenue, uh, and there's a up by the conduit house. That's the source of the water for the abbey. And then we head over to the far side of the green, um, and we go into the woodland. So there you go, so 
we'll go up here and see we are. Yeah, it looks like you can actually walk through the church and come back out this way. But again, it's one of the churches that uh, looks like it's been well kept uh, and it's just right for the, the animals and the creatures. Anyway, let's find our way through here. As you go past the old prison, uh, you come up on a, on a road eventually, uh, North Holmes Road, which brings you up to uh, St. Martin's Church. Now, St. Martin's Church was originally built by the Romans in AD 597, as a surprise. Uh, and it was Augustus' first base after a successful mission uh, to bring the good news of Jesus Christ to the Anglo-Saxons. Um, this church actually is the oldest church in the English-speaking world uh, to be in continuous use. So, another fact for you. And yes, I am reading off the board. So we go look at the church. Uh, the spire was uh, put up in the 1300s. The main building itself was uh, Saxon Circus 600. And in the, the reign of it was done between the 1100s and 1200s. So a lot of building work's going on around the uh, 11th century. Not sure uh, how many gravestones in here date back that far, but it's a lovely little church. See if he's in on this uh, on this here board. We're on the route, by the way, to uh, from Canterbury to Rome. That's the route. I don't think we're going to get that one done today, but um, that's the path we're following at the moment. As you go along that road, you'll go through some like uh, alleyways and uh, and that brings you directly into this uh, little wooded area. Signage is kind of stopping up signage for uh, the Camino around there, but also you've got the uh, River Stour uh, trail as well, which uh, we cross paths with on a number of occasions. So this route is pretty well marked on the OS map now. Uh, is to say that uh, it's the Stour that's marked and not so much the Camino. And part of the North Downs and part of the uh, Canterbury to Rome walk. So uh, we should be all right today. Okay, you come out of a bustling uh, city environment and then straight into the woodland. So see how we get on. Go through the woods the woods is about a mile and a half but as you go through there you actually come to a golf course um, and it is literally straight across the golf course where you come out uh, straight through um, yeah so not too bad they play left to right when you first come out and then right to left as you get past the trees so just keep your eyes open and just as you go through the uh, little bit of woodland after golf course you come out into a uh, into a farmer's field you see the path directly in the middle of you and this takes you down to Fordwich. So, 
So as you come around, you're coming to uh, Ford, which uh, you see the George and Dragon right in front of you. Down the road, you'll come to a church, Church of St. Mary the Virgin. Uh, this is where they say that uh, some of the last of the remains of St. Augustine is in the church. It's one of the largest of uh, any tombstones uh, that are held in the church. Church is open, so uh, let's go have a look. So it's about four miles in now. Um, just stopped to have a quick, uh, quick break. Um, the going's been quite good today, to be honest with you. Um, pretty flat, a few woodlands. Um, just gonna head off into another woodlands now. But yeah, it's been all right. Um, so signpost wise, uh, the River Stour Walk and the, the Camino both run along the same track. So because uh, the Stour is a recognized walk, or bigger recognized walk, it's well marked on the OS maps as well. Yeah, it's about an eight to eight and a half mile um, trek today, so it's not too bad. Um, it'll be interesting when we get to Stop Marsh and see what that's like. Uh, I know the transport's not great. I know there is a bus that goes back into Canterbury, uh, but it'll probably be an Uber. I think by road it's only about six miles. So yeah, but all good, all good. Interesting to see the history. Um, we were just talking about um, the history of Saint Augustine um, and the prolific part he played in bringing Christianity into the into the country. You know, I said right at the very start of this, it's not a, a religious um, Camino, not for us, or not for me anyway, um, but the, the history part is um, it's really interesting. And uh, if you're ever going to do it, you know, have a read up. Yeah, all good. So the old uh, current bun's come out and it's quite warm. Um, got to stop Marsh in good time. Uh, it's about uh, it's after lunchtime really, so not bad trek down. It's, it's probably one of the best routes down so far. Um, it's been uh, quite pleasant to be fair. So uh, just stopped off in uh, Stob Marsh Churchyard um, to have something to eat and then uh, decide how to get back to, to Canterbury. But uh, uh, yeah. So food, uh, I'm going to have a cup of tea. So we've got the old uh, Crusader out again, and uh, I think I've shown you these before, the old uh, Fire Dragon gel packs. <coughs> um, there is a review on these, so if you go through the back catalogue, you will see a review on these. But yeah, cracking little things, light as anything, uh, just enough to pop in the side of your bag. Burn for about uh, 10 minutes, more than enough time to, um, to warm up uh, a little bit of water. So, yeah, not bad at all. Bought a couple of uh, L25 ration packs a little while ago, um, and it was a ridiculous price, to be fair, for what's in them. Uh, much better than what was in there in my day. A uh, little brown box with uh, food that went out of date in, I don't know, 3,050, I think. Um, but, uh, yeah, these MREs, they're okay. Uh, we'll do a bit of an unboxing of one of them, um, or an unwrapping of one of them. But I think I can do better for a better price. Uh, so I've already started uh, a bit of a collection of, you know, tea bags and, and sugar and stuff. Uh, and it's cost me next to nothing so far. I mean, you know, a couple of cups of tea's probably going to cost me 
20p each, if that, from uh, from the stuff that they collected. Uh, there's some great sites out there, but when I do the food stuff, I'll uh, I'll show you, and we'll do some uh, some ready meals and stuff like that. But just for now, it's going to be a cup of tea. So let's get it on the boil. There goes just a couple of minutes, and uh, let's just come into the boil now. Happy days. So the, uh, that's the end of the, uh, the Canterbury to Stop Marsh leg, uh, the penultimate part of this, uh, this Camino. Uh, lovely trip down, uh, really nice, uh, pretty flat, pretty easy. Uh, it's just about, I'd say, about eight mile-ish, uh, so, uh, some cracking views. Uh, sun shone, so yeah, really nice. Uh, so quite lovely, it's just a little church there, stops at the room. Uh, there's a pub, yeah, let me just spin you around and show you. Just over there, there's a pub, the Red Lion. Yeah. And how was that, Lucy? Yeah, I enjoyed today. Nice little stint down. Yeah, really pretty. A couple of nice little villages. Saw a nice few pubs on the way. If you're trekking this way, I want to stop for lunch. Um, but yeah, no, really, really nice. And the sun was out. So, the, um, so um, the last leg will be in a, uh, in a few weeks' time. We'll do Stop Marsh down to Ramsgate. Let's see if we ever get out of Stop Marsh. Again, uh, you know, plan your transport. Our plan was get down here and then get an Uber back. Uber, um, got no chance, but cabin me along in the next five or ten minutes, take us back to Canterbury and then back to the car. So, yeah, um, not a lot else to say, really. Uh, but yeah, it's been a real, real good stint. I know I'll do this stint again, I think. So, if you ever want a, a nice little walk out, come and do this one. But for now, that's us. Um, I'm going to get home, I'm going to have me a nice uh, cold beer uh, and some food and then uh, chill out for the rest of the weekend. So listen guys, as always, you know, get outdoors, get out on the trail, go and have a look. Summer's here, it's beautiful, and I just did the spring, it's, it's, it's great out here. So get outdoors, go and have a look, go and see the beautiful countryside that you live in. Stay safe, yeah, take the right stuff with you. Um, Keep watching the channel. We've got some great stuff coming up over the next few weeks. Uh, really looking forward to doing some of the food stuff for you. Um, and get into that and then we'll see where we go from there. So, all right, that's me. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of the hikers. Um, really enjoy your company whilst we're out here and talking to you. I like talking to myself, really, but you know, a little bit mad you have to be. Right, I'm going to go. Take care. Be lucky. Get outdoors.